Hi everyone, good morning. It's Margaret Manning here and welcome to 60 and Me. Today is another beautiful day. I hope that you're having a good morning so far. I, um, I'm going to get together with some friends later on today and it made me think about the value of friendship. And I've got a question for you that um, I want to ask in a second. But first of all, I must tell you about my tea today because it's great. It's a lemon ginger. Um, this is actually a really nice tea. I drink it a lot in the evening, but I decided I would have a cup of lemon ginger tea first thing in the morning, which is wonderful. So grab a cup of tea or coffee and um, we'll go through a question that I hope will give you um, something to think about today that uh, maybe you've been ignoring. So if I was to ask you this question, who is your best friend? Who would you say? Can you think? Who is your best friend? Now, if it's anybody but you, that's what I'd like to talk about today. You know, I think that uh, women over 60 particularly are very hard on themselves. You know, the things, the qualities that we look for in other people um, are, are very straightforward to us. We know what makes a good friend. We know the people that we're attracted to, the, the types of things we like to, to do with them. But sometimes we don't apply that same relationship of intimacy and, um, you know, and, and care and loving kindness to ourselves. You know, we sometimes are very hard on ourselves. And so I think that if we can build a strong relationship with, our, with, our, with ourselves, become our own best friends, we can then have a better lens on what it is to have friendships outside of our own, own world. So I guess that's a question to ask. I mean, do you think that you know yourself really well? Now, it's not a rhetorical question. It's not a question that I, you know, I, I expect I know the answer to because I think a lot of us don't. Even into our 60s, I think we don't really um, look at the qualities in ourselves that we truly, truly love. We, we don't love ourselves that, as much as we maybe should. So I think that's important. So what are some of the qualities that a best friend knows about you? So first of all, they know you. Don't, they know you well. They know your um, your quirks. They know those buttons that they can push. They know the things that they can do that make you feel special. They know you. They just have taken the time over over years or because of a common interest to really feel like they care about you and to let you know that. So a best friend knows you, and they you know they they understand the things that you have in in common, and they also understand the things that are different. So I think that's really, really important that the more you invest in going to getting to know yourself at, at all levels, you know, what you love, what you don't love, what, you know, what's um, a stress um, motive, uh, factor for you, what's a, a motivating um, factor, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel happy. Those are the things I think that um, the more you know about yourself, the better. Another thing that good friends um, know about one another is they, they love each other unconditionally. Now, this is, this is a, ch a challenging one because even with our, our own families, we, we sometimes put conditions around um, you know, the things that we, that we like about each other. And I think that do it, we do that with ourselves as well. A good friend, a best friend, actually loves you regardless. They know you have these funny uh, ways about you, that you do things that aren't maybe uh, completely what they would like, but they love you anyway. And I think that that's a quality in our best friendship with ourself that would be a really good place to start. I mean, I know so many women who make excuses for their, for their family, for their children, for their, for their friends. Oh, it's just their way, or this is how they are. They're really great people, uh, despite that, <laughs> that quality. And, and they, they really do stand up for their friends, and they support them, and they make them, you know, they, they, they love them unconditionally. Well, do you love yourself unconditionally? Or do you, do you beat yourself up because you make a mistake? Or you get angry with yourself because you can't accomplish something? Or you fail at something? Or you maybe let yourself down because you didn't, uh, didn't do things the way you wanted? You know, I, I just think that if you could maybe start by looking at yourself unconditionally and loving every single part of you, good and bad, that's a really good time. You know, no, no one's com completely good or completely bad, and that includes you. <laughs> and I think that the more we can do that with ourselves, the better. Be your own best friend. Love yourself unconditionally. I think it's kind of important. Another thing that good friends do is they respect each other, and they respect each other enough to be honest. 
And this, uh, I think this is a really, really tricky one because if you know something about a friend that um, you know is causing pain to someone else or is just not um, helping them in in you, what you know are their goals, I think that um, you know this is this is a hard one because you want to be truthful and and I think you sh you can be truthful with yourself in the same way. So, for example, if if a friend um, you know is trying to lose weight and then they sit down and eat a huge piece of cheesecake or chocolate cake or something. You know, do you just say, okay? Or do you say to them, well, maybe I'll have a bowl of fruit next time. You know, that would be like 500 calories less. And I know you're, I know you're thinking about losing some weight and be prepared for uh, a little bit of pushback. You know, you can do that with a good friend, but do it with yourself too. You know, be honest with yourself about your goals and about the things that are important to you. This is just, you know, I'm not trying to preach. I mean, I'm certainly in the same category as all of you. I, I do often, you know, I'm very hard on myself and don't give myself the benefit of the doubt. But, you know, I think you, since you get set in your ways as you're a bit older, it's really important to be honest with yourself. Be a best friend in that respect. Respect yourself and respect your decisions. And um, I think that's really important. You know, if you just force yourself to be the best person that you can be, just, just like you would like for, um, a, a, for a best friend. Be the same for yourself. Next thing friends do is have fun together. So have fun with yourself. Do stuff that you love. I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's quirky or silly or you know something that um, maybe your family thinks you're a little bit too old for. <laughs> Just do it. Have fun. You know, like you, like you go out and have fun with your friends. Have fun with yourself. Just do go dancing. You know, go buy something. Go buy some eye glitter, some uh, eyeshadow that's got glitter in it, and just you know, just feel silly for a night. Go out and have a good time. I think that's really important. Have fun with yourself. And then finally, another thing to think about is that a best friend brings out the best in you. When you get together with them, you feel like you are a quality person, that you are just doing the best you possibly can in your life. Best friends make you feel that way. That's why they're your best friend. So I guess the piece of advice here when you're applying these, these qualities to yourself is do things that bring out the best in you, that you know are, are taking you to a level of excellence. And you know, be your, be your best cheerleader, be your own cheerleader. If you're by yourself some weekends or you're, you know, you're not with friends, be your own best friend. Do something that's gonna make you proud of yourself and make you feel good about being with you, <laughs> being with yourself. <laughs> you know, and I think that the women who have figured this out are the ones that don't mind being alone because they are basically with their best friend 24-7. Uh, it's not, it's not, it's a rare thing. It's not often that you find someone who really is at that place. It's hard. So that's kind of a little, hopefully a little inspiration for today to get your day off to a good start. You know, just be your own best friend and accommodate or, or uh, include all those things that we talked about, you know, about making you feel good, being truthful and honest, you know, having fun together. Just be that for yourself today. And I would love to hear your comments on this. I mean, do you think that you're really, you've been too hard on yourself? You know, do you think that you understand yourself really well? Leave your comments in the section below and let's have a, have a chat, have a conversation. And also, I, I remind you this often, please go up to 60andme.com, go to our website and uh, check out some of the other articles that we publish there. A lot of them are about this topic of um, being by yourself, uh, ha having you know, self-respect and doing things for yourself you enjoy. Um, you can get inspiration every day. So thanks again for being here, everyone. I really do hope that you have a fabulous day. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think um, about yourself. Do you understand yourself well? Are you your own best friend? Look forward to reading your comments and joining the conversation. And I look forward to seeing you all back here again very, very soon. Take good care for now. Bye-bye.